Hi, Isabel Litzler, Pliad HC, the place to be to develop your skills and grow your potential. So today's video is about work permits. How do you get one quickly? And I get a lot of questions on that, people from all over the world. In my view, there's only one way if you want to get a work permit quickly, and it's only in one sector, which is development sector. I've talked about this in a previous video. I'll link it up below so that you can make sense out of the two. So in my previous video, I explained, you know, how do you build your profile to be looked at in the not-for-profit sector? And this video is more about the work permit. So that, how do you get a work permit? So if you do everything in my first video, meaning you've built up your profile, you apply the right way, then the work permit process goes fairly quickly. So you get, you know, your resume gets picked up, you have an interview. If you are abroad, it's not a problem. They do videos on Skype or different uh, technical systems that they use. So really being abroad and being non-EU is not a problem in development because they do want people from all over the world and they can issue a work permit fairly quickly. It's not going to be the same one as the private sector where you get a different type of work permit, but it's going to be useful to stay in Switzerland. And in the end, what you want is uh, to have the right to work and stay in Switzerland. And uh, it's called a legitimation card and it allows you to do this. So if you're in Africa, if you're in Asia, and you could have skills for the not-for-profit sector, this is one way where you could get a work permit quickly. So again, you do need number one, which is you do need the skills and you need or make sense of your resume, but the work permit is not going to be an issue. So this is your best bet. Uh, in all my videos, when I talk about what non-EUs can do, there's not many options for you in the end. I mean, uh, the other way is to start a business, but you're not going to be credible. If you come to Switzerland from abroad and say, I want to start a business, you don't know anybody, you have no experience, uh, it's going to be hard for a lawyer to apply for a work permit for you in that kind of category. If you come to Switzerland and think, I'm going to hire a lawyer to get me a work permit and, and be able to work in the private sector, it's probably not going to work either. And you're going to invest a lot of money for no reason. So really, in my view, there's only one way as a non-EU or a foreigner to come to Switzerland. It's really via the international organizations. But again, you need to work on that profile. They're not going to pick up anybody. They want the best people. They want you to have the right experience. So you need to work on that on your resume to be a valuable employee. And maybe your profile is not going to be adapted for their needs. And that's also a reality. But at least I find uh, because there's so many functional type of roles, meaning in finance, in human resources, assistance, international development, they're still very heavy on the admin. So I think it's quite open in terms of skills. I mean, someone who's a good admin, for example, who speaks languages, probably could be of interest to the UN, especially if you come from a country that's not really well represented. So you have your chances. Uh, you could check the uh, website unjobs.org just to see the criteria, you know, for the roles that you could apply for and see if that could be a possibility for you, but really could go really fast. If you have the right experience, your country is underrepresented, uh, that could be a way to come quickly to Switzerland and get a work permit. I really believe that. But again, take the time to look at the jobs, you know, look at the market, see where you could enter, which type of role or job you could use as a way of entering. And then once you're in Switzerland, then you understand a little bit the market, you understand what jobs are out there. Um, you know, maybe you get different offers. So really the point is to find the easiest, fastest way to be able to enter uh, legally, obviously. And then you can also meet other people, you know, spread your wings and it's a little bit easier once you're on the spot to uh, spread your wings and understand the market than it is from far away, where you only have your computer and you don't really know where to research. Of course, my career pack is adapted for newcomers, so it gives you a lot of resources, but still, the best way is really, uh, I think the international development sector is the only or one of the best way to get a work permit quickly. I hope this video was helpful. Feel free to comment. I talk to you soon.